and gentlemen. Harry Houdini. All right. I have a question for everybody out there tonight. How many people here have ever heard of a guy named Eric Weiss? Show of hands, Eric Weiss. Okay. Well, even the people that don't have your hands up, I'm sure that you heard of this guy. I'm sure that you know about him. I'm sure you've heard about him. And I'm going to let you let in a little secret in a minute. But this guy named Eric Weiss was actually born in Budapest, Hungary in 1874. And he was uh, one of the youngest of three brothers. He had a sister, his mom and dad. His dad was a rabbi. And they immigrated from Hungary over to the United States. They lived in Appleton, Wisconsin. This guy was known as an escape artist. When he moved here, he changed his name to Harry Houdini. How many people know him now? Harry Houdini, right. Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. We're talking about Harry Houdini. The straight jacket gets put onto the person and it gets wrapped around like this and it's tied in the back. He learned how to escape from a straight jacket that nobody else could escape from. That was his idea. So he loved challenges. He loved to be challenged. In fact, he would challenge anybody to come up with anything that could hold him and that he couldn't escape from. In fact, he was known, right here in the posters, it says the world's greatest handcuff king and prison breaker. Nothing on earth can hold Houdini a prisoner. Not handcuffs, ropes, chains, boxes, metal containers. Heck, he was even uh, sewn up, they say, in a whale bladder. <laughs> There's some handcuffs over here. We have some handcuffs. These are from the Houdini era right here. This pair, this pair, even this pair down here. These are a couple other modern ones here. We're going to do some stuff a little bit later on with those. Let me just stand over here and show you Houdini over here. Uh, this is an original pair of Houdini handcuffs. They're called the Romers. They were made in Newark, New Jersey. These were made. Uh, as, a, as replicas to uh, show everybody what the handcuffs would look like. That They're very, very rare. There's only one of a kind of each of these, and uh, these are the replicas of these. This particular pair here is called the mirror cuff. The mirror cuff was not because it's shiny like a mirror, but because in England, Times Mirror, which was a newspaper, had challenged Harry Houdini to get out of a pair of cuffs that were specifically made for him by a locksmith that they hired, and it took them supposedly five years to make this pair of handcuffs. And it was supposed to be unbeatable, unpickable, you couldn't get out with the key, even with the key it was very hard to get out. Yeah, Houdini loved challenges. In fact, if you would take that same thought that Houdini did, and use it in your everyday lives, to challenge yourself, to take something that you normally don't do, that you think, well, I'd like to try this, try it and see what happens. So, keep that thought in mind. Take the Houdini challenge, and uh, I hope that helps you out in life. Thanks so much.